Welcome back. The jury trial in Dominion's defamation lawsuit against Fox News is expected to get underway later today. It was originally supposed to start yesterday, but the judge delayed it without giving a specific reason. Now, two sources tell The Washington Post that it was pushed back so both sides could talk about a potential settlement. The Wall Street Journal, which is owned by Fox Corporation Chairman Rupert Murdoch, reports the network did make a late push to settle. But unless there's a last-minute deal, this one would be pretty unexpected. Jury selection will resume this morning at 9 Eastern, followed by opening statements. The trial is expected to last about six weeks. And for more on this, let's bring in media reporter for Semaphore, Max Tani. Max, great to see you this morning. Um, so first of all, do we have a sense as to how close, if at all, they came to a settlement yesterday? Uh, you know, the sense that I get from talking to people close to the case is that both sides are, uh, you know, while there are some incentives for both sides to settle, um, that they are really prepared uh, to go to trial. And, you know, the or, and the fact that there hasn't been any settlement uh, or any news, uh, you know, from the last 12 hours suggests that, you know, when uh, court opens this morning, that there's there is actually going to be a trial. There will be opening statements, and uh, you know that some of the top Fox News personalities, um, you know, will testify. There's always the possibility, you know, for uh, kind of something to kind of come up at the last minute, and you know, they, the two sides could settle really at any point. Um, you know, but Fox has been, uh, you know, Fox's incentives once the trial do start, um, you know, to settle kind of uh, lessen because you know this is. One of their major, one of the major things that they would want to avoid is these kind of embarrassing testimonies from people like, you know, Rupert Murdoch or, you know, Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson or, you know, any of the other higher ups or prominent figures at Fox News. So looks like it's going to trial um, and it's going to begin in just a few hours. So, so much damaging stuff has already come out, too, through, mm -hmm. through discovery emails, texts and such. So to walk us through what this trial could be like, you just mentioned some of Fox News's most prominent personalities. Is there an, an expectation that they and others, perhaps newsroom figures, not as well known to the public, but still really important to the network, that they'll all be called on the stand? Uh, absolutely. The trial could last for as long as six weeks, and there could be a major figure testifying as early as today. Mm. Um, what we know is that Dominion wants to start this with a bang, uh, and you know, and they could call witnesses such as uh, you know Rupert Murdoch, um, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity. Um, you know, sometime even within the next uh, few days, um, they want to make a really strong case in uh, their opening statement. Uh, and there might be some time kind of later at the end of the day uh, to get one of these big witnesses. We don't really know for sure, and we don't know how long the jury selection uh, process is going to take, um, you know, but we could start seeing some of the names that, you know, some of your, uh, you know, viewers may be familiar with um, sometime this week, which would be, you know, incredible and remarkable. And Murdoch is a possibility himself. Abs you know, absolutely. Um, we've heard that top Fox News executives um, are likely to, uh, you know, to, to take the stand. So, so Let's take a step back for a second. And as this is going on, uh, we obviously have another campaign season ramping up. Is there any sense at all? Just give us your analysis of how Fox News um, is, A, covering the trial, which seems like not much at all. Mm -hmm. And then, B, is, this, is there any expectation that this will impact how they approach this coming campaign? And will they be less reluctant to tout things that they know are not true about election results? That's a really good question, Lemire. Well, you know, to the first point, what we do know that Fox is going to have somebody on the ground covering it. Howard Kurtz, their uh, media columnist, longtime, uh, you know, uh, media host, said that he will actually be covering the trial uh, from Wilmington, which is a bit of a change because they've kind of tried to avoid this a little bit. Um, you know, uh, Howard Kurtz initially said that they didn't want to talk about something because it was ongoing. You know, Fox didn't want him kind of covering it because it was ongoing. But now it seems like that's shifted. I mean, it's completely unavoidable. It's going to be all over this network. It's going to be all over CNN. But to the latter point, I think it really depends on whether Fox comes out of this, uh, you know, victorious. Uh, and, you know, there's always the possibility that that could be the case. The standard that they're trying to meet, meet is called actual malice, uh, which is a really, really hard legal standard uh, to reach. So, you know, this could this could remain unchanged, and you know Maria Bartiromo, one of the hosts, is uh, still a host on on Fox News, and she has said essentially that she believes still believes some she doesn't know what to believe about the 2020 election and whether or not there was fraud. So uh, you know even though there's this big huge trial going on, there's still some doubt even among people who are on Fox News. So. I mean, it's hard to say whether or not they've, you know, learned their lesson, so to speak, uh, you know, about putting these kind of false claims on the air. And remind the viewers how much money is at stake here? $1.6 billion. $1.6 billion. Media reporter for 7-4, Max Towney, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll talk to you again as the trial proceeds.